Welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. For this video, I'm making a press-on set for my sister. So she sent me a ton of pictures from other nail techs where they did the crocodile print nail design using neon yellow and blue. So I decided to go in and make a set for her just like that. So I'm using these short square nails for her design and these are from AliExpress. I decided to go ahead and use these because she prefers shorter nails. She is a school teacher. She teaches kindergarten. So of course the short nails are just more manageable for her. Um, and then also she loves French tip nail designs. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that every time I do her nails, it's pretty much always a French tip. I don't think I've ever done her nails and they weren't French tips. But sometimes when using the French tip tape, the French tip line just doesn't come out that well. And I think it's because the base color that I like to use as my natural nail bed color is the Born Pretty Gel Polish in the shade SP02. And it has a tacky layer on it. And even when you wipe it off, it's not like it's fully gone if that makes sense so then when i go in with the french tip tape it doesn't really stay on all the way and then some of the gel polish gets under it so to avoid that i decided to try to do the reverse french method using gel polish so i don't know if you all have seen that video i did it a while ago but I did French tip nails using poly gel and the lazy girl method and I did it the reverse way by doing the tip first rather than the nail bed. So I'm doing the same thing, doing the tip first so that way I can avoid messing up the French tip line by putting it over that base color that I like to use. And I would say that this turned out pretty well. So when I put the French tip tape on, I didn't have any base coat gel or anything on the nail tips. They were just plain. I didn't buff them or anything. And I just went in and tried to press them down as much as I could to make sure it was nice and smooth on the nail. And then I went in with my white gel polish. For my featured comment, I would like to say thank you so much to Tia Bella Beauty for being first to comment on my previous video. I really appreciate it. She's pretty much always first to all of my videos. I don't know how she does it, but thank you so much for always being first to comment. Once I have my base color of white on, I'm just popping those in the lamp to cure that into place. And now I'm going in and removing the French tip tape, which I just find so satisfying. So I left it all in. A few of the nails, the French tip line was a little bit messed up, but I'm going to show how you can fix that. But yeah, overall, I really do love this technique and I'll definitely be using it again. To fix the French tip lines on the nails that they got a little bit messed up on, I'm just using an e-file. Sorry, I was a little bit out of frame, but I'm just going in and just filing that off. The coat is super thin, so it comes off really easily. And honestly, you don't even have to use an e-file to do it. I just chose to use that. But yeah, you can just go in and almost like pick it off and it'll come off fairly easily. But now to build up the rest of the design, I'm going to go in with two coats of this neon yellow color. I absolutely love this. Y'all know a while back I was obsessed with the neons. So this is from that same gel polish kit, which I will leave linked in the description box. But yeah, I'm just making sure that I don't go over that white French tip line. But I just put the white as a base just to make sure the color popped up nice and vibrant. But yeah, I'm going to go in with two coats of that and cure in between each coat.
Now I'm going in with my natural nail bed color, which is the color that I was talking about at the beginning of the video. This is the shade SP02 from Born Pretty. So I went in with two coats of this and I cured in between each coat. Honestly, because I was going in with such a thin coat of this, it was a little bit more sheer than how it typically looks, which I didn't realize until my sister put the nails on. Um, so I wish I would have gone in with a few more coats, being that I was going in with such thin coats. But yeah, I think it still turned out super nice and I absolutely love this color. Now that I have my natural nail bed color on, I'm going to be going in with this dark blue in my base coat gel to do my crocodile print design. So I'm going in with base coat gel over all of the nails and then I'm going to take a small dotting tool and paint on the croc print. Because these nails are so short, I'm just going to do two lines down the center of the nail. So I'm putting a dot in the middle and then just kind of spreading it out to either side. I'm not going all the way to the edge of the nail, just staying towards the center. And then I'm putting three dots on either side. So I'm putting two at the top and then there's going to be two that kind of lines up in between the two middle pieces and then one at the two corners of the nail tip. 
And of course, because it's going into the uncured base coat gel, it is going to spread out and it's going to give it a really nice design. So I'm just letting each nail sit as I go on to the other one, which will give it time to spread. But I did do one hand at a time. So although I went ahead and put the base coat gel on the other hand, I just went ahead and popped this one in the lamp before I went in on the other hand. I didn't want it to spread out too much because if you do, then a nail polish will kind of build up on the sides of the nail. I went ahead and cured those in the lamp and then I just went in with some top coat gel. So I didn't have enough storage space in my phone to continue recording so that you all could see me applying them to my sister's nails. But of course I used the McCart nail glue which I always use and I just went in and lightly filed her natural nail. I dusted them off and then I went in with some dehydrator. I just put about two dots of the nail glue inside of the nail tips and pressed them on. I didn't do what I said I was going to do though which was going in with the e-file and just filing the inside of the press on nails before applying them. I think that would really help the nails to stay on for like three weeks. So that's definitely something to try. I just wanted to mention it. But yeah, thank y'all so much for watching my video. I hope that you all enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and of course, subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Bye!